While the makeup of the 2017 New York Yankees may not have the household names that fans are used to, the addition of youth and recently acquired veterans brings excitement and hope of a new season. As spring training commenced, Yankees On Demand sat down with Yankees general partner and co-chairperson Hal Steinbrenner to get his thoughts on the team's new direction. I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited every year. I mean, spring training is a new beginning, right? A uh, new, uh, new round of hope. But this just seems like it's the first year in a while we've had a really good crop of young players and good veterans. I mean, it's just going to be a great, it's going to be a great mix. And uh, you know, some of these guys have a lot to prove, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing they will. With such a strong focus on young players, the question of their ability to perform consistently at the major league level always arises. For the Yankees' front office, it's rewarding to see some of their investments pay off. I'm excited for them because I know how hard they work. We take our player development pretty seriously. Our discipline is, is strong and you know we expect great things out of these kids at young ages. And it's just tremendous to see guys like Sanchez that finally make it, guys you've been following for years. It's great to see them develop kind of on schedule, you know, the way you would hope, and a lot of them have. With his exhilarating debut in 2015, Greg Bird quickly became an important part of the roster. After missing 2016 due to a shoulder injury, the anticipation for his return has the team and the fans buzzing. Well, look, I, I, I think Greg Bird is going to get his chance, but I'm going to expect great things. I mean, he, he is a, he's just a great guy, very mature, a great teammate and uh, obviously a lot of abilities. So we'll just, we'll just have to see how the spring goes. We have to do what's best for the team. But I think he's going to be fine. But my, my intention is certainly to see these young players take up more and more of these positions. During the offseason, the Yankees signed two veteran bats, Matt Holliday and Chris Carter. Not only do they feature power in the lineup and options in the field, they also provide a veteran presence in a youthful clubhouse. I mean, obviously, they can both do more than just DH, so that's going to be a you know that's going to be a good backup to give a guy a day off once in a while, or if there's an injury, which hopefully there, there will not be. And uh, you know, it's going to be great to have two more veterans in the clubhouse as well, especially with all these young kids. With the top three starters solidified in the rotation, the battle for the four and five spots is wide open this spring. We are going to have a young rotation, right? You're going to have two guys that haven't proven themselves yet. Essentially, you're going to have Sessa, Green. Mitchell, uh, Severino, I mean, you're going to have four or five guys competing for two spots. You know, you've got Pineda, you've got Tanaka, you've got Cece. So I think it's going to be an exciting spring, but it's nice to at least have that many options. The competition for starting positions, prospects that are on the brink, new veterans in the clubhouse, the team's transformation is unfamiliar, but one thing remains constant. Well, we always come to win, so I, I believe we have a championship caliber team, but you know, it, it's still somewhat of an unproven team with all these young players. So they're going to have to prove themselves. Uh, our veterans, and I, I think guys like Didi and Castro, I don't think you've seen the best out of them yet. I think they're going to continue to get better and better. We come to win world championships, and that's, that's the mindset down there. You can see more Yankees on demand and Yankee scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.